Hello friends, today we are going to see how to insert a node in a doubly linked list. So let's see some cases. These are the three examples and they represent three different cases. The first case is the node which we want to insert is at the starting of the linked list. The second case is we want to insert the node somewhere in the middle of the linked list. And the third case is we want to insert the node at the end. Now let's see the first case. In this case, this is the node with two pointers. One is next pointer and the other is previous pointer. So the next pointer of the new node, this is the new node. The next pointer of this new node should point to head of the original linked list and the previous pointer of this head should point to new node and then the previous pointer of this new node should point to null and after doing all this The new node is now the head of this linked list. Now this is the new head of the linked list. Let's see the program for this, whatever we have done. So for executing the program, for explaining the program, I will delete this and I will make it as it was in the original situation. So let's see how to do this with program. So new node points next equal to head. So as you know this is the head now and this is our new node. So what this code says new, net po new node points next equal to head. So new node points next is equal to head. Head points previous equal to new node. So this previous pointer should point to this new node and new node points previous equal to null. So this previous is equal to null and head equal to p. p is here, I am sorry, here it is new node. So new node is now head. So new node, this is now head of this linked list. So this is the new head of the linked list. So this is how we insert a new node at the start of a doubly linked list. Now let's go into the second case. In this case we have to insert the new node in middle of the linked list. Now let's see. See if we want to insert this node in between two nodes C and D then you have to point this next pointer of C to this new node. But when we do this if we point this pointer to new node then we lose the address of D. We don't have trace of D now because we have lost the contact. So, when this pointer is pointing here, before moving the pointer to the new node, you have to store the address of D in store next pointer. Store next pointer. And after we have saved the address, now we can move this pointer to point to new node then you have to make the pointer of new node to point to store next node that is D. Yes and obviously the previous pointer of new node will point to C and the next pointer is already pointing so the final thing is the previous pointer of node D should point to this new node. So I will write it cleanly. 
so this is the node and these are the two pointers previous pointer and the next pointer and this is the pointer so this is how we insert new node into the doubly linked list now i will tell you by doing this with a program suppose this is c this is d and we want to insert this new node i will tell you with the program now c for writing the program we have to make a pointer p to point to head and then we have to reach to the insert position so we have to keep this in a while loop and we move p forward till we get the insert position the insert position is c means we have to insert the node ahead of c and behind d so while p is not equal to insert position p is equal to p points next so when p reaches to this insert position then we come out of this while loop and when we come out of the while loop as p is here now we have to store the address of d in store next pointer so store next equal to p points next so this address is stored in store next pointer now p points next equal to new node so the next pointer of p will point to new node and new node points previous is equal to p new node points previous equal to p means the previous pointer of new node will point to p then new node points next equal to store next so new node points next that is this is equal to this store next and store next points previous points to new node so this is how we fit that new node in between those two nodes that is we insert the new node in the middle or somewhere in the middle which is also called as an internal node now the third case we have to insert the node at the end similar to this previous case we have to take a pointer p and we have to reach to the end of we have to reach to the end of the list and when we reach to the end then you have to come out of this while loop so look there here so while p points next will be equal to null that is here p points next is equal to null then we come out of this while loop and we make p points next equal to new node so the this next pointer of p will point to this new node and new node points previous equal to p so the previous pointer of this new node will point to p and new node points next equal to null so the next pointer of this new node will be null so this is how we insert a new node at the end of the doubly linked list now you can get the full code on my github link github.com/vivekanan44 please check the code so that you can get the perfect idea hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you